Okay, hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another benchmarking video where I compare Ubuntu 14.10 versus Windows 8.1. This game I'm using is The Witcher 2, uh, which thankfully a subscriber or video, uh, a viewer, sorry, uh, called Rugal is, he pointed out that my previous uh, benchmark of this game, I used Uber Sampling. Now, Uber Sampling is similar to uh, SSAA on Metro. It is a very, very taxing graphical setting. It's anti-aliasing bot to a, a, a very big extent, so to say. Um, so I've turned it off for both of these uh, videos. And what a difference it has made already. Both of the uh, operating systems are running the game over 60 FPS, which is what you really want from a game. As you can see, obviously, uh, Linux is getting less. But, to be honest, uh, it's not too far considering how much slack this uh, the, the, the unwrap I got on The Witcher 2 on the Linux version. It got a hell of a lot of slack of people. People really disliked the wrapper. Um, I, I, I assume because of a uh, performance. Well, look at that, 100 FPS. That's really good. Um, before I forget to mention, actually, uh, on Linux I'm using the 346.59 drivers and on Windows 8.1 I'm using 350.12 which is currently the latest drivers on both the systems. But as you can see, the frame rate is very good. And then as soon as you come along to cutscenes, for some reason, the frame rate dips. Um, but as you can see, they're very close in cutscenes. Um, you'd expect them to be more like similar to what it is in the gameplay, because it seems that the art is using gameplay graphics in the cutscenes, so to say, if that makes sense. So I was going to try and benchmark this with only cutscenes, but it doesn't work like that, sadly. So I've had to sort of try and get as you know, close as possible uh, in terms of walking around and stuff like that. As you can see there, again, I, I actually hit my camera there when I was recording Windows. That really sucked, but yeah, I sorted it out. Uh, but as you can see, um, Windows and it's Linux is really close there. I mean, take it with a pinch of salt. Like I said, it's using it on wrapper, but it's look at that. It was just within like 10 frames per second, um, you know, within Windows. That is really good. I don't know if it's just my setup. I know I've got a good setup, um, so I'm curious as to what other people are getting from this because that is what I see as as good. Uh, as you can see here, we're going into a battle, uh, I missed time to the start of the battle. Um, so I tried lining it up a bit better when the gate gets knocked down. But as you can see now in battles, uh, Windows is battling out 20 to 40 FPS more than what Win Linux is getting. So it's not too bad. Um, so, but either way, with Uber sampling on, I was getting 30, maybe even less than 30 at times. So Uber sampling is a must no-no. Turn that off! If you have this game, turn it off. Unless you have a very, very good system like a Titan X, then feel free to turn it on and enjoy your Uber sampling, you rich people. But yeah, look at that though, it's, it's not too bad. Obviously they're not identical scenes, so it's very hard to compare the two, but it's the best I could do, sadly, uh, as this game doesn't have a benchmark. Sadly, a lot of games nowadays don't have in-game benchmarks, and since I started doing them, <laughs> these benchmarks, I wish that they did. But, yeah, that's it anyway, guys. To be honest, Linux didn't do as bad as I thought it would do. Uh, it put up quite well. But there's room for improvement. Anyway, guys, rate and subscribe for future benchmarks and for f more future Linux content in the near future. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace out. See you later.